With the proliferation of so-called smart doorbells, police across the, count the country are taking advantage of the access to video evidence. One America's Jeremy Hartley takes a look at what's being called a private surveillance network. Get away from the door. With their popularity, these doorbell cameras have basically created a private surveillance network across dozens of neighborhoods throughout the country. Now. Police departments are turning to homeowners to tap into this network of cameras in their communities. One of the most popular devices is Ring, a camera doorbell combo purchased by Amazon last year to the tune of almost $900 million. About 50 local police departments across the U.S. have partnered with Ring over the last two years, saying the device provides security footage where you normally don't have access, the suburban doorstep. Officers say it's much easier to get footage of a crime by simply asking the homeowner for footage of the incident. We have footage to show this individual. We identify them, uh, and you know there's no real defense to that um, because you caught them in the act of the crime. They have it accessible right away. We can uh, get that quickly and use it for the case instead of waiting a week or so sometimes for the footage. In some neighborhoods, police are asking residents to register their cameras so they can quickly ask for footage if something happens nearby. Police say they're especially interested in Ring's neighbor app, which acts as a social network for doorbell owners where they can share, view, and comment on crime information and videos uploaded from their devices. Police access to all this surveillance information is not without its concerns, however. Some police are warning that sharing videos too quickly means neighbors will see them before police do, leading to false accusations. They're immediately putting them out on social media, and all of a sudden, we'll start getting calls based on video that's already out there. So everyone out there is saying, okay, well, this person committed a crime, when the reality is they didn't. It can also mean trouble for detectives, since the criminals know what police are looking for, like what they're wearing or what car they're driving. Privacy advocates have also questioned the ethics of what is essentially law enforcement teaming up with big tech corporations to look into citizens' lives. Some departments have reportedly offered free or discounted smart doorbells with the caveat that they must turn over footage when requested. Ring said recently it would start cracking down on those kinds of agreements, saying while it has donated devices to law enforcement, it does not support a program that would require footage be shared as a condition for receiving a donated device. Recent reports say more than 3.4 million doorbell recording devices were sold last year, with analysts saying smart security devices will be in use in more than 22 million American homes by 2020. Jeremy Hartley, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.